Alright, what's up YouTube? It's uh, Most Electronics here, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of uh, Simple Circuits for you guys. So, uh, going off my uh, last video, here's a uh, dip switch. A lot of people are always asking about a dip switch, and I think there's a lot of curiosity about dip switches. And how they work, I know my first kit came with one of these, my nerd kit. I didn't really know too much about it until I, you know, tested it out on a board, and it seemed to be pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what it is. So yeah, it's a pretty rudimentary switch. It's uh, really, really easy to get. So um, for this uh, little circuit, you're going to need a um, dip switch. Uh, th and the reason why it's called a dip switch is because it's a dip package, a dual inline package. So it can fit on a breadboard uh, in between those the spacing like that, which is a standardized spacing, I do believe. And then there's... Um, and then you're also going to need two LEDs. I'm using green LEDs for this, uh, three millimeter LEDs. And then you're also going to need uh, two 220 ohm resistors. This whole prog or this circuit is just to test out the uh, dip switch. So the first thing you want to do is uh, put the dip switch on the board. So all right, seated on the board. Good. Um, make sure all your connections are good on the breadboard. If you bought a brand new one, then it's fine. The next thing you want to do is, um, put your 220 ohm resistor on, uh, let's say we'll do this on a seven. So put it on seven and put it in, uh, the positive terminal like so. And then, uh, do the same for this one. Sorry. I can't really get a uh, other side. Let's do this one for six. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just, no, let's do it for one. So let's do that, and then uh, wire up your LEDs. If these are go if that's going to positive, then you want a negative. You want uh, the LED going into to the negative. Uh, so there you go. Just go like that. There we go. And oopsies, it's not good. Let me reverse this for you guys. My breadboard was not. All right, there we go. So uh, yeah. There's your dip switch right there, so it's, um, alright, all connections look good. Turn it on. Now, uh, where's that pen that I had? Oh, here we go. So, all, all the dip switches is you, uh, I just turn that on like that, and then you, it's just a selector switch. And there we go, so that's all it is. Uh, and then, that's just two LEDs, you can do seven on this one. But, um, yeah, so, you know, this could be used as a bus select, um, uh, light select, I guess, uh, various inputs. I've seen this on garage door openers. Let me turn these off for you guys. Garage door openers, uh, inputting, um, hex codes into garage doors so you can, you know, get the, uh, code for your garage door. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy this, and, uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.